Let me be perfectly clear. My client admits nothing by making this voluntary appearance. He did not violate the terms of his bail. Mr. Corinthos merely took some time off to clear his head. Nice try, Counselor, but the fact is your client jumped bail, confirming that he's a flight risk. He will be taken into custody. Not without a fight. Officer, escort Mr. Corinthos into interrogation one. Claire, I think I know how to get there. Can Jason come with me? Because I need to talk to him. Sure. Cards on the table. We both know that Sonny just made a huge concession by coming back. Because if he hadn't, you'd be standing here with yet another helping of egg all over your face. So how about a little good faith here, huh? So when did you decide to go for broke and outright frame Sonny? I was new to Mesco and was a dirty cop. He just proved it. You working with Don Tanners? I think so, but it's hard to tell. Okay, you need to use them because I need all the help I can. I'm not sure Dante's help is anything that we can use. You were free and clear. Why'd you come back? You know the answer. Kids, I can't go to prison. So I'm counting on you and Dante to make sure that doesn't happen. <laughs> Why you're saying kidnapped? Whoever told you that is overreacting. Okay, what's your version? Uh, well, a couple fans got crazy and... That's it. That's not the way Murphy tells it. What do you mean, Murphy? After he left here last night, two men grabbed him. What? Is he okay? He's fine. Well, what happened? Well, these goons dragged him to a van, tried to force him to get in. He, he fought back. There was a gunshot, and he was able to get away. Just in time to see you and some strange man facing off against your own set of thugs. Thugs, not fans. Murphy watched you run off with this strange guy who also happened to be armed. So can we just stop tap dancing around? Tell me what happened? You know, I, I made a mistake sleeping with Lisa, but can you blame me? Excuse me? I mean, the only things you were concerned about were your memory of Stone and working for your AIDS organizations. And, and I know it's admirable work, and I'm an ass for bitching about it. But the point is, Robin, you froze me out. Why don't you grow up, okay? There are more important things in the world than Patrick and his needs. And, and it's despicable for you to use the excuse of my commitment to something bigger than our petty crap to cheat on me with your ex-girlfriend. Really, you, you make me sick. I, I'm out of here. Well, look what we have here. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? Are you just loving everything that you're hearing? You're looking at the late Ronan O'Reilly. He was killed suddenly in a freak accident not less than 15 hours ago. He was enjoying a soccer match and a bleacher collapsed on him. Ouch. Indeed. Are you sure it was an accident? Oh, yes. Strictly wrong place, wrong time. I'll say. So, why is Interpol interested in this soccer fan? Well, Mr. O'Reilly was an assassin for hire. One of the best, able to slip in unnoticed, do his job, and slip out again without a trace. Was he affiliated? Yes, for a time he was with an Irish terrorist group, but for some reason it wasn't a good match, so O'Reilly struck out on his own. Lately, he's been working for someone that Interpol is very interested in capturing, a fellow who calls himself the Balkan. So far, we haven't had, well, we haven't been lucky enough to get a man on the inside. And that's where I come into play. You want me to become Ronan 